Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to compute the cosecant of pi over three. Let's carefully work through this solution. So first, there is a super important formula that we'll need. It's that the cosecant of x is equal to one over the sine of x. And now we have cosecant of pi over three. So all we have to do is replace all of the x's in this formula with pi over three. So this is the cosecant of pi over three, and that's equal to one over sine x, but for us, x is pi over three. So this is equal to one over, and the sine of pi over three is the square root of three over two, and so we have one divided by the square root of three over two. When you divide, you really multiply by the reciprocal. So this is really equal to one times, and then it's the reciprocal of that, so two over root three, which is equal to two over root three, making it a little bit bigger so you can see. So yeah, so it's one over this, and when you divide, you flip it and multiply by the reciprocal. That's the correct way to do it and think about it. And that would be the answer. So really powerful. Uh, hopefully this has been helpful. So this is equal to two over root three. And you could leave it like this or you could rationalize. If you decided to rationalize it, you would multiply it by the square root of three over the square root of three. Let me just show you really quick. Why not? Just in case you want some extra knowledge. So this is really times one. Some people don't like it when there's square roots on the denominator. That's the bottom part, and um, so they always want to rationalize their answers. So this is two times the square root of three, and different people do it differently. Different books do it differently. Square root of three times square root of three is simply three. So this would be an equivalent answer to the problem. Anyways, I hope it's been helpful. Good luck.